Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Wednesday, May 24th, 2017. And today in our Tech News Update, well, if you are using a um, player, a media player like Kodi, VLC, Popcorn Time, well, uh, there is a major flaw in these software and it's time to update to the latest version. It seems that the flaw that was discovered enables anybody that actually adds uh, subtitles to a movie. So, you know, one of the things that a lot of people do is get subtitles from third party websites to, um, you know, play with a, a movie file, for example. Well, if a malicious subtitle file is, of course, added to a movie, well, pretty much everything can happen since they can take full control of your device not just PC, even devices that are not technically PCs like Android boxes. So that's why you need the latest version of these pieces of software. So if you're a multimedia user, you have VLC, Kodi, Popcorn Time, update. Make sure you have the latest version because if you do use subtitles, it might actually cause some problems. Well, it seems that the uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 iris scanner is not as foolproof as Samsung lets us believe. Um, a group in Germany that usually, you know, that they've, they've done the same for other phones. They've shown how they can, uh, you know, uh, spoof the, um, the fingerprint scanner on iPhones and stuff like that. So, you know, every phone has a little flaw here and there. But now they've shown that by printing out a person's face with a laser printer, and by adding a contact lens to kind of make the eye look like a 3D uh, eye, so like basically the curvature of your eye in general, well, it seems that they've been able to unlock a phone by using that feature. So it gives you an idea that, yeah, it's possible, but you know, it's a lot of trouble. So, uh, you know, yeah, it's a security flaw, but up to what point it's really that bad of a security flaw is another story. Well, according to IDC and Gardner, sales of smartphones, you know, last year we were saying that in 2016, smartphone sales were pretty flat, even maybe a little bit down for the first time. Well, in the first quarter of 2017, it seems that smartphone sales have increased 6.3% year over year. That's major. And also, interesting, people buy more expensive devices. It seems that the average price paid is up also. And one of the last things that happens with that is that Chinese makers are more and more popular. So basically, um, you know, these will be major players eventually. Apple is, of course, flatlining. Um, you know that we knew for quite a little while that Apple was flatlining. And Samsung, the biggest maker of smartphones, has 22% of the market share which is quite a lot. Well, if you wanted to know how many people had Windows 10 Creators Update, we've got a new number today, 18% of all Windows 10 devices. That means the majority of you out there still don't have the Creators Update. So uh, if you're wondering why, and if you don't have it, it's, it's normal. It's pretty much normal. And it's up 8% uh, from a month ago. So basically, um, most of you are still on adversary update. Um, it seems that according to the statistics that the rollout is about at the same speed that uh, anniversary update. So gives you an idea of how cautious Microsoft is and the rollout seems to be going pretty well also according to some of the statistics there. It seems that uh, Samsung is pretty close to being the official manufacturer of iPhone displays for many years, starting with the iPhone 9. You know, uh, right now, Apple's iPhones uh, actually often had, um, you know, some really, um, you know, using both Samsung and other manufacturer screens. So there was a kind of a mix of screens, but uh, Samsung would apparently become the screen maker for iPhone 9 and forward. We already knew that they were uh, ordered many million of millions of uh, screens, OLED screens for iPhone uh, 8s 
So um, Samsung become a major player here. In other news, we have 2.6 million comments have been sent out to the FCC concerning net neutrality. It seems that of all these um, FCC comments, the majority of them want to have and keep net neutrality. But there's a big problem here. Even though there is a lot of posts, a lot of people asking for net neutrality, nothing has changed. And it seems that the FCC is just not listening at all. So um, this is a big issue. I mean, if people want to keep net neutrality, they should be listening in. And this means the FCC is broken somehow and really, really under uh, too much influence from the government itself. And finally, the European Union is getting close to actually having a uh, official law that will block hate speech, speech videos from Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and even other websites. They say that it is time that laws were made and that they need to add that to some of the regulations in the European Union. So this was the Tech News Update. We are Wednesday, May 24th, 2017. You enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know and of course you can help us with a paypal donation or become a patron at patreon.com slash radio and computers helps us out tremendously and thank you so much for following us on this channel